Hi, I'm Struan Robertson, inventor and chief executive of Tox Free Systems. Welcome to our Surrey, British Columbia demonstration plant site. Let's go and have a look at the plant. Fifteen years ago, I invented and founded Tox Free with the objective of creating a technology that could economically process all types of waste whilst meeting all EPA criteria globally. The technology has evolved into a commercially proven one that can process scrap car tyres, biomass and oil sands generating 90% less greenhouse gases, recovering all the resource and is energy self-sufficient in a closed loop process. The process begins with scrap car tyres containing the steel, rubber and fluff that are shredded and fed into the feed hopper. The shredded tyres are then fed into our indirectly fired vertical retort which operates at a bed temperature of around about 500 degrees C. In the commercial operation, we'd use an indirectly fired horizontal retort, which gives us the ability to receive much larger feedstock, say a six inch chip. But let's go and have a look at how the products received and also the high temperature filter, which is the key to the technology. Over here we have where the product that comes from the retort and is fed into these product hopper bins. In a commercial plant, we would have a tug mill which agglomerates the material and therefore stops the formation of dust. The char has the heating value of coal, can be used by cement industry, power industry, so there's a ready market for it. But the real key to the operation is the high temperature filter, which is the off-gas tape coming out of the retort. Let's have a look at that. Now that we've talked about the solids management system, let's talk about the gas processing system. The gas is passed from the top of the retort into the high temperature filter. The high temperature filter has ceramic filters in it that remove particulates down to minus 0.01 micron. Those particulates fall to the bottom of the high temperature filter box. They are then joined with the solids from the retort and sold to industry which uses coal as a feedstock as it has the same calorific value. The gas is passed from the top of the high temperature filter directly into the condensers. The condensers operate at about zero degrees C, so they remove basically all the condensate from the condensers in the form of oil. The condensate is in fact the equivalent of a diesel fuel and can be sold as a diesel fuel extender. After the condensate is processed, the residual gases go on to the final treatment in the gas management system. But first of all, let's have a look at some of the oil that's being produced while we run the process. The gas is passed from the condensers directly into this gas management system, which is unique to the demonstration plant. It would not be needed for a commercial plant. The commercial plant would have the gases passing either directly into a gas or power generator, which would generate, uh, using three tonnes an hour tyres, which is 300 tyres an hour, would generate four megawatts of energy, which is enough to power 4,000 homes. Or it could go directly into a gas pipeline. All this generating 90% less greenhouse gases than any other process. In the environment where governments are talking about generating less greenhouse gases, this clearly gives everyone the opportunity to prove that point. The tox free technology is commercially proven, been operating for 15 years, meets every EPA requirement, not only in Australia but also in Canada and the United States. The Surrey plant will be the first of its kind in the world, processing scrap car tyres, generates 90% less greenhouse gases than traditional technologies. It offers the government the opportunity to establish a new industry and confirms their commitment to generating less greenhouse gases. It is a very real solution for processing scrap car tyres.